spread. So as we discussed, the ask price is always above the bid price and you will always pay more to buy one unit of base currency than you will get when you sell one unit of base currency. And that difference between the ask and the bid price is called the spread. So let's calculate the spread for uh, this particular example for the British pound Australian dollar currency pair when the prices were as um, they're illustrated on this chart. So the spread is the ask minus the bid. That means 1.8873 minus 1.8866, and that means 0 0.0007. So that means less than one Australian cent. That is 0 0.07 of an Australian cent. And uh, this is in Australian dollars because the currency pair is British pound Australian dollars. So Australian dollar is the quoted currency. Remember our examples with apples, so British pound here is like uh, the apple and um, Australian dollar is uh, the currency that it's been valued in. So in this instance, the spread is 0 0.07 of an Australian cent, which is um, very low in um, our kind of understanding of the world that when we go to an exchange booth, the spread is usually um, at least a couple of cents, maybe maybe a dollar or so on certain currency pairs. Um, but on the Forex market, um, the spreads are very low and this is called very tight spreads. Uh, and that's all, that's all right because when you do very um, large transactions like banks do or when you've got uh, hundreds and thousands of partic participants participating that uh, brokers have, um, they uh, make up this um, money from the volume and the quantity of transactions. So simply put, the brokers actually earn this money or um, the banks and brokers, they kind of share this spread. And um, this is your cost of conducting a transaction on the Forex market. So if you ever want to um, participate and um, open a trade, you would always pay the spread um, because you would buy at the ask price, for instance, and then when you close the order, you would close it at the bid price. So you inherently always pay the spread in any transaction and that's your cost of participating in the market and uh, whether or not you make money that's that's completely your up to you and that um, uh, in, a, in a good broker that has nothing to do with them they uh, make money off, off spreads and um, uh, other things like commissions and swaps which we'll talk about later.